Hi, in the last lecture, we studied the basics of binary search tree. In that, we learned about what is a binary search tree, what is the peculiar property of binary search tree, what is the height of binary search tree, and what is a balanced binary tree. In this lecture, we will learn another concept on binary search tree that is addition of a node onto BST or insertion of a node in a BST. Let's take an example and we will see how it is worked out. This is my numbers to be entered into binary search tree and I want to create a binary search tree using this number and I'll use this example to come up with the algorithm and we'll code that algorithm. So at when I am at 30, there is no tree. There is no tree. So what I will do, I will allocate a node called as 30 and make it as root. So this is the first step. The first node has to be the root node to be inserted into the tree. Now I take 20. This is my next node. I go down to the tree which is already created as the root and I check what is the best position for 20 to be in this tree in order to satisfy the BST property. That is all the nodes on the left hand side are smaller and all the nodes on the right hand side are greater. So since 20 is less than 30, it has to be somewhere onto the left hand side. So we'll put 20 here. So the conditions here was like whether 20 will be right child or the left child of 30. And we decided based on the BST property that it has to be the left child of 30. Now let's say I enter 10. Now 10, can 10 be on the right hand side of 30? No, because that will violate the binary search tree property. It has to be on to the left hand side. But left child of 30 is already occupied with 20. So it can't be, 10 can't be the left child of 30. So we'll move down to 20. Now our T3 under consideration is this. Where should 10 be residing? On to the left hand side or on to the right hand side of 20? Since 10 is less than 20, it has to be on to the left hand side of 20. This is how the third element 10 is inserted. Now let's say I want to insert 8. This is the element to be inserted. 30 is greater than 8. It has to be on to the left hand side. Again, we come down to 20. 20 is again greater than 8. It has to be on to the left hand side. But left hand side is already occupied. We go down to 10. And 10 is also greater than 8. So it has to be onto the left hand side because 10 left is free. So we'll attach that node onto the left side of 10. So this is the tree as of now. Now comes 12. Is it less than 30? Yes. Is it less than 20? Yes. Move left. Is it less than 20? No. It is not less than 10. So it has to be onto the right hand side of 10. Is there anything onto the right hand side? No, so we'll add that node and associate tens right into 12. Now the next element to be inserted is 22. We go down to 30. Is 30 greater than 22? Yes, so we'll move to left. Now we compare 22 with 20. Is 22 greater than 20? Yes, that means 22 has to be the right side of, it has to be onto the right side of 20. So is there any node onto the right side of 20? No, there is no one. So we'll add 22 and associate the right hand side pointer of 20 to 22. Now comes the node 37. At 30, 37 is greater than 30. So it has to be onto the right hand side. Is there anything onto the right hand side of 30? No. So we'll straight forward add 37 as the right child of 30. Now another node comes as 45. Is 45 greater than 30? Yes. But since right child is already occupied, we can't do that. So we move down to 37. Is 45 greater than 37? Yes. And right child is null. So we add 45 as right child of 37. Now we add 35. Is 35 greater than 30? Yes. We move down. Is 37 greater than 35? Yes. So it has to be onto the left hand child. Yes, and there is nothing onto the left hand child of 35. So we add 35 as the left child of 37. So this is the insertion mechanism. Now, how can we code it? The code is very simple. It is a recursive code because every time whatever we are doing at the root, we are doing it 
for the subtrees also only thing we have to decide is like whether the node has to be attached to the left hand side or the right hand side so we will create a function called as node star insert and pass root as the the parameter and the key of the new node to be inserted what if this is the first node then the root should be the root will be null so if root is null we will just return we'll create a new node with key and return it if root is not null then we have to decide whether this key has to go on to the left hand side or on to the right hand side and that condition is that if roots data is greater than key that means key is smaller so it has to go on to the right hand side right oh sorry it has to go on to the left hand side of the root so we'll add root left is equals to but since roots left may not be null right so we have to go down further so we'll add this left of the last leftmost child has to be updated so till the time we get root as not null will move down and that will be done by the recursing this function again insert and will pass roots left and key if the root data is less than key that means key is greater than roots data then it has to be on to the right hand side so roots right will be equals to that means we'll go on to the right side and we'll add key and this is what the implementation of this function so let's work out this code and see how it works on our example and this we start with 30 and the root will be null so we'll just create a node and return that's fine now we go to 20 here root will not be null because 30 is already added so this statement will not be executed we go down to this if roots data that means 30 is greater than key that is 20 so yes so roots left that means 30 is left will be this function is again called keep in mind yet we are not assigning this so the 30 is left will be null and we'll call it insert function with 30 is left which will come here and the root will now be 30 is left which is not which is null so we'll return from creating a new node from here with the key 20 so this node will be written here and set to 30 is left and this node of 20 is set to 30 is left in this case now let's say i entered 10 so root is not null we go down roots data is greater than key yes we go down so 30 is left calls insert roots left right roots left is now 20 it's not null so we'll not return from here and we come down to this and now root becomes 20 so roots data is greater than key yes so again we go down here 20 is left is now insert root 20 is left is null and key is passed we come here root is null now so we create another node as 10 and return back so 20 is left is set to 10 so this is how this whole code works in create node you don't do anything just create have a malloc and allocate the node and return assign that node temp data is equals to key and temps right and left equals to null this is what a create node does and returns the temp node now very interesting part of this algorithm is what is the complexity of this insertion mechanism we are tend or we are inclined to tell that it is o of log n which is wrong because if you enter number in a completely sorted way then either the binary search tree will be completely left skewed or right skewed based on the in increasing or decreasing order of the numbers and your complexity in worst case will be o of n so whenever somebody asks what is the insertion complexity of a binary search tree it is o of n and not o of log n o of log n complexity is valid only when the binary search tree is a balanced binary search tree so this is for today we learn how to insert an element into a binary search tree. Uh, in the next lecture, we will see how to delete an element. In the next lecture, we will see how to delete an element from a binary search tree. Stay tuned. Do subscribe. Thank you very much.